What's going on guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located Colmar, PA. And as you can see, I've been upgraded to Bionic Man. So soon I'm gonna get a blade that's attached here so I can just elbow and slip people's throats. And then I'm gonna get some sort of a fire or flamethrower attachment so I can just destroy people. Just like the Bounty Hunter video game for GameCube. Probably never played it, it's pretty awful. Uh, but he had a flamethrower. So, cool. Uh, anyway. In this video, I want to cover some of the exercises, pretty much the main primary exercises I'm going to be doing with one arm, okay? Now, obviously, there are a million out there. You can pretty much take any exercise and turn it into a unilateral movement for upper body, lower body. We're primarily going to focus on upper body today and what I'm going to be doing with this left arm. Uh, I have this for the next several weeks, uh, slowly working on different ranges of motions. Right now, I'm allowed to actually uh, flex my bicep. Uh, they're kind of keeping me away from doing too much extension, but kind of gradually just like playing around with different ranges of motion. I'm working on pronation, supination, uh, kind of using my wrists a little bit more. It feels great to finally be out of the initial kind of wrap and gauze and all that junk that I had. It's able to breathe a little bit more. And as you can see, the incision uh, is kind of like the why so serious smile right here. So starts here, goes to here. It's actually a little bit bigger than I had thought, uh, but it looks pretty good. And, the, and the, the stitches, I guess, were on the inside or something like that. Like basically, they just pulled this long, uh, suture out and the wound is, is healing very nicely they said so that's kind of got good on the bicep but let's get right to it guys i don't know how many i'm going to go through i think it's at least uh between five and seven exercises so let's get to it right now all right so the first exercise we're going to get right to it it's going to be bicep curl like i'm going to get back to curling with this left arm baby uh and, and hopefully some of these gains are going to transfer over to the right arm now I want to start off with the bicep curl because the next movement is a little bit up in the air whether you include the curl or not, and that's an Arnold press, okay? So some people like to curl, rotate the dumbbell out and up just like so, and they curl each time. For me, I'm not going to do that. The bicep curl is going to be its own exercise, but I do like the Arnold press because of how we're hitting the entire shoulder girdle. So basically, we're working the front, the side, and the back of the shoulder. I get to rotate out and up, and I'm coming back in just like this. So getting some good internal and external rotation of the shoulder. So it's like a full package uh, movement that I'm gonna be throwing in at least for the first several weeks, just to kind of get some blood flow back to the shoulder. I haven't done anything in about two weeks now, uh, just because I wanted the sutures uh, to not have any risk of infection. So now I can get back into it. So that's gonna be a movement for my shoulder. Now on top of that, we obviously can just do single arm pressing, okay? or overhead pressing, just like so. So I'll be incorporating those as well. So we have the Arnold, the single uh, arm overhead press. And then lastly, I'll show you the next one in terms of pressing variations right now. So you may have saw this in some of my previous videos when I, uh, or pre-surgery, but I was doing some single arm chest presses. So of course, I'm gonna go back to doing some single arm press work. So whether this is gonna be a flat or on an incline, that's kind of how I'm gonna be attacking basically the pressing movements with what I had just described in the last uh, three, basically. When it comes to getting a jacked back, right, we're gonna go with the staple, just single arm row. Okay, I put a lot of videos out about rowing and back. You guys can check out uh, all that. I'll link a playlist above as well. But I can't really support myself with this arm yet. So this arm's just gonna rest at 90 degrees just uh, on my quad, and I can still get that full range of motion with one arm. So that's how I'm going to attack my back and my lats with that exercise. So another back exercise, we're using the lat pull down, but we're going to go single arm, okay? So I'm able to get that close grip kind of feel right here, all right? So opposite of outside uh, the close grip, I can go a little bit wider out if I wanted to, okay? So the single arm pull down variations, either using uh, this single grip here or some other grip attachments that we have here at the den. Something else I'm gonna be working on is some carry variations. So I have a farmer carry, which is obviously something you've seen in other videos, right? So we're basically just holding the implement and we're walking for it, or walking with it, <laughs> for it. I love the support by farmer carries. But uh, we're going to be really hitting the traps. Okay, we're working grip here. We're also gonna be working on the obliques a little bit if we're doing single arm work, which I put out in my core uh, video or core short as well. The other thing we can do, right, is I can clean it up and I can hold it tight to my chest. So it's basically gonna make a front rack carry. So we do a lot of front rack carries with sandbags and other implements here, but since I'm down uh, a wing, I can use this and I can obviously work to stabilize and kind of work those same muscles that I would be doing 
for strongman style events or using a sandbag or, or any sort of front loaded carry. All right, so in terms of the triceps, single arm push down all the way, okay? You can obviously change your grip a little bit, change the implement uh, that you're using or attachment, but keeping it real simple, guys, just some sort of tricep push down is gonna be my best friend for going the triceps. I may do some single arm kind of skull crusher stuff, uh, but these really have been working for me for a long time. So if it ain't broken, don't fix it. I'm gonna use those to grow the triceps. All right, so in terms of working on a little bit of athleticism uh, and just more of an explosive power movement, I'm gonna be doing some single arm snatch work. So obviously I can't do snatches or any sort of clean or Olympic lifting, uh, but it's important to kind of move a little bit differently and athletically in my programming. So I'm gonna be working on just doing single arm from the ground, boom, right overhead. All right, so touch the ground, straight up just like so. So we're gonna be working the hips and triple extension as well as the shoulder a little bit, and some, some of the muscles in the shoulder. So I'll throw those in. Uh, but that's pretty much it guys with this video. Really quick, just get a run through some of the exercises that I'm gonna be incorporating in my program for the next several weeks as I gradually get back into this. The one thing that I liked when I was talking to Dave Tate at Lead FTS, he's like, everybody wants to rush so quick, right, when they get back from an injury. And we can understand if it's like the best in the world, right? World's Strongest Man, the Olympia, you know, CrossFit Games athletes, whatever, okay? That's like the big bread and butter, right? Or, or you know, kind of the highest level. But for me, it's like, why rush back super fast, right? For what? what? What is the purpose? And oftentimes when people do rush back, okay, they can maybe set themselves back. So for me, like I've totally mentally accepted on where I'm at and I'm looking at things years down the road right now so that I can put enough time uh, to recover properly and being patient with this. So starting with these, you know, basic exercises, obviously there's tons that you can do and there's more that I didn't include that you can throw into your training, but I just wanna hit the, the basic and staple uh, movement patterns, right? We, we got some sort of um, press, we got some sort of pull. Uh, we have a little bit of a hinge uh, with the snatch, but I'll talk about more of that in the next video, which is gonna be some lower body stuff that I'm gonna be incorporating. Uh, but for the most part, this kind of hit all my basis uh, from the movements that you saw. So if you guys have a similar injury, right, you're covering from bicep tear, which seems to be the injury of the year right now. So hopefully this is some quality content for you guys who are in that position. And if not, maybe you're just down a wing for any reason, uh, you can incorporate kind of some of this stuff as I go through with my journey. Uh, I can help you guys out. But as always, okay, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have zapstrength.net with a ton of programs. Unfortunately, we don't have a one arm uh, program, but maybe we'll come out with it now. And, uh, but we have tons of stuff on there, so check that out. We also have our Facebook group, The Iron Alliance. Just type in the Facebook search bar. Uh, we have a great community of people who are into lifting, strength sports, we do form checks. Uh, we put our articles in there and people just have conversations constantly going. I communicate with the athletes on different things going on in the world of lifting. So check that out. We really appreciate your guys' support. We have Coach Matt on the camera here. He has a YouTube channel. He is training for an Ironman. Go over, subscribe to that man. Great content, highly, highly intelligent person. And it's pretty cool to watch somebody who's not only involved in strength sports, but is also gonna do an Ironman, right? Two totally conflicting uh, energy systems there, but he's making it work to the best of his ability and explain exactly how he's doing that. So subscribe to Matt. Matt, turn the camera around, say hi to everybody. I always feel bad when Joey's doing these because like he's like, Matt's explaining all this. And Matt puts out like a video per month. I'm trying, I'm trying. And we're also using a 30 mil lens, so Matt's face is like right in front of you guys. I'm probably like <laughs> right there. Yeah, he's right there, but it's okay. He's got a great looking mug. So uh, subscribe to Matt, all right? Uh, he's helping me out a lot with all these videos. That's why we have these videos coming out so frequently. And also, I have a podcast. When I told people that I had a podcast, a lot of people didn't know. So Becoming the Line podcast available on iTunes and Spotify. We are going to be releasing an episode every single week coming up in the future. Uh, by this point, they're probably already out, and uh, it's going to be dope. Like I'm super excited. I've used a lot of this downtime to get this podcast ready to be something truly uh, awesome and amazing for you guys. So go give that a listen. We already have about 90 episodes that we've done with some of the top people in the industry and a lot of unknown people with amazing stories on there as well. This is by far one of the longest outros I've ever done, so I need to shut up. And you guys need to go watch some other videos. So stay Lean Mean Track Machine. Peace.